We're gonna dominate. Dominate. Let's dominate. Have a look at this. We're gonna dominate, dominator. We are the dominator. Let's talk about the RX 6700 XT and when and when these 6000 series GPUs are gonna be coming to laptops. Let's talk about that. It looks like a cool, decent card. And we can have a look at the specs here. We'll quickly talk about this before we talk about the laptops because they did mention when they're going to release them. Some exciting news. And I think these things are going to be amazing for laptops. Anyway, so if we have a look here, we have the 6700 XT. Now, what you want to see here is the 40 compute units on the top, okay? Now, they said they were going to release like 5700 XT or 5700M, you know, mobile graphics cards for, you know, gaming laptops. Then you never really saw many of those or at all. This time I think it's going to be a little bit different, but the main thing is 40 compute units, okay, 40 compute units, and it only requires 230 watts, which is pretty good, right? So this is like a 3070 sort of, you know, performance. Now they did have a 5700 XT in laptops. The MacBook Pro 16 actually had a 5700 XT underclock with HBM memory, 8 gigabytes of that, and it was a 50 watt TDP. It had 40 CU, so 40 compute units, and watt for watt, that was fast as a 2070 so if i reduced the wattage of the 2070 to the same amount of wattage as that it was called the 5600m in the mac but it was really a 5700 xt underclocked and all that like i said one thing also i want to point out here is 12 gigabytes of memory so this is going to be amazing because now we're going to have laptops with 12 gigabytes hopefully they don't cut down the amount of ram you get but even more some with 16 gigs because if we have the 6800 and 6900 in laptops you can imagine we're going to have 16 gigs and if you have a look at the tdp these 6000 series graphics they use a lot less power than the nvidia gpu so if you don't know like the 3000 series gpus they're good they're fast but they need power i've tested a 95 watt and a 130 watt 3070 and the difference in performance is night and day it is really a big performance jump just that extra sort of 30 watts now before i get into speculating the performance they said that they're going to come out first half of this year so q2 so next quarter i'm thinking summer northern hemisphere so you know uk us winter here in australia it might be the very end of the next quarter there's going to be supply constraints because seven nanometer everyone's using seven nanometer and you know people say oh apple's products they cost so much yeah well think about this Apple just went to TSMC and said, hey, we're buying up all your 5 nanometer. We're going to take everything you can make 5 nanometer. Boom, here's the check. They don't have supply constraints, Apple. They're getting their product out there. They're getting their iPhone. They're getting their M1 Max, which are selling like hotcakes out there. No problems because they bought up all the 5 nanometer capacity. AMD are sharing 7 nanometer with everyone. We're talking PlayStation 5. We're talking Xbox. All AMD stuff, automotive, everything think that's made on seven nanometer which is quite a lot of stuff even nvidia really couldn't start using seven nanometer they had to go to samsung because they just couldn't get the amount of chips they wanted because seven nanometer is just chock a block everybody's using it so will they have enough of these oh, i don't know i think we're going to have the same problem as last year i think they're going to be supply constrained but in terms of fitting these in laptops 40 cus we've already seen that in the thin and light macbook pro 40 cus so that's going to be no problem. I think with these AMD graphics cards, whether we have the 6700 XT variants, M variants, whatever it is, and 6800, I think the AMD GPUs will get closer to the desktops because the 6000 series AMD processors use a lot less power than the NVIDIA counterpart. So I think if you've got a 130 watt, you know, gaming laptop, it's going to be much closer to the desktop variant with AMD because of that less power draw. Will we see a 6900 with 80 CUs? I can't see why not so if we have a look at these other variants you know 6800 60 cus i think that's going to fit no problem 16 gigs imagine that in a laptop 72 cus with the xt version and 80 cus with the 6900 i think these are easily going to fit because if you have a look here the 6900 xt it's 300 watts now i've got a strix 3090 here and it can use like 470 watts 
I mean, so those NVIDIA cards, they use a lot more power and I reckon these can go in laptops without a question, especially if you're talking 130, 150 watt sort of laptops. The thin and lights, probably a 6900 would not go in there. Probably more likely something like a 6800 as we see here, if we have a look at this, you know, minus 50 watts or 60 CU, 16 gigs, it's gonna be a beast. And we can get sort of good gaming laptops that, you know, 130, 150 watts. It's gonna be very close to the desktop, isn't it? Well, when I say very close, not that close, but, you know, much closer than the NVIDIA 3000 series. So I can't wait for these to be in laptops, especially with SmartShare. If we have an AMD CPU as well, we're gonna get extra boost in performance there. We're gonna have up to 16 gigs. Hopefully these things are gonna be amazing in laptops and wow, I cannot wait to see an all AMD laptop, Ryzen 5000, 6000 series graphics and woof, that is the way to fly. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Let me know what you think down there.